The Hare and the Tortoise. Hare was always laughing at Tortoise for being so slow. <laughs> I, I really can't think why you bother moving at all, he said. Well, said Tortoise, I may be slow, but I always get there in the end. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a race. <laughs> you must be joking, you silly slow coach, sneered Hare. But if you really insist. So one hot, sunny day, all the animals came to watch the great race. Mole lifted the starting flag and said, Ready, steady, go! Hare raced away, leaving Tortoise coughing in a cloud of dust. Then Tortoise moved off. Slowly, very, very slowly, Hare was already out of sight. It's hopeless, said the grasshoppers. What chance does poor Tortoise have? That silly Tortoise, thought Hare, looking back. He's so slow, I can't lose. Why should I rush? In fact, I think I'll just have a little rest. So he lay back in the warm sun and was soon fast asleep, dreaming of cheers and prizes. All the long morning, Tortoise moved slowly, slowly along the route. Most of the animals got so bored they went home. But Tortoise just kept on going. At noon, he passed Hare dozing gently by the roadside. He didn't stop to wake him. He just kept going. Eventually, Hare woke up and stretched his legs. The sun was low in the sky, and looking back down the road, he laughed. <laughs> no sign of that silly tortoise! <gasps> and with a great leap, he raced off in the direction of the finish line to collect his prize. But then, to his horror, who should he see in the distance? But that silly tortoise, creeping slowly over the finish line. The flag was down. The tortoise had won. Even from the top of the hill, Hare could hear the cheering and the clapping. It's not fair, whined Hare. You cheated. Everyone knows I'm much faster than you, you old slow coach. Ah, said tortoise looking back over his shoulder. But I told you, I always get there in the end, slow and steady. That's me.